It's the Josh Show. It's the Josh Show. It's the Josh Show. <laughs> I can't even take this seriously. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the Josh Show. Hi there. This is the Josh Show. I'm the show. And today's episode, the first episode, we are reviewing my Legator and Nine nine string fan fret electric guitar so well let's start off with the fan fret part it's a 28 and a half to 30 inch scale it's basically like a short scale bass on the this low b right here i have it tuned to b f sharp b e a d g b e um, yeah, this is normally a C sharp, so that's what, that's what it's supposed to be open. Anyway, so yeah, um, aside from the scale length, it has an 18 inch radius, which is, I mean, pretty much flat. There's like barely a curve on it. Not sure if I can get that in this shot, but... Yeah, you can see there's like a little bit of one. And um, and apparently on the site, it says the neck is modern C-shape. I mean, like, not that's not a symmetrical C, that's for sure. <laughs> like, so let's see if I can get it. Um, okay, so yeah, it's kind of thicker on the top than the bottom so you can make sure you can like actually like you can actually reach like this and stuff Anyway, um, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty comfortable. Um, it might be, like, I guess I have, like, like, I don't think my hands are huge, but they seem to be bigger than most people's. So, yeah, like, if you can't do, like, be like this with it, then it's probably not going to be playable for you. But I think it's insanely playable. It's basically kind of like a loot neck, in my opinion. And, I mean, with how many strings it is, it's, like, kind of like the modernized version of a lute, in my opinion. Anyway, um, <laughs> just without the coarse strings, of course. And, um, so, the frets, they, I mean, as you can see, it's not cutting my hand open. Like, I, feel, I can feel that they're there, but I can't really say, like... They're, like, sharp. Like, I guess they could have, like, rounded a little bit better. Meh. I don't really care too much. Like, I understand I paid $1,400 for this thing because, well, it's a nine-string. It already has Fishman Fluences in it. And, um, yeah, they're not real. They don't, they're not, they don't really sell too, they don't really sell too well. So, <laughs> like, but I'm pretty sure... If someone popularized them enough and then more manufacturers started making them and like at like lower prices, I think these can sell, but maybe just me or maybe I'm just a target customer. Who knows? <laughs> um, okay. So the body, I mean, it's kind of a basic super strap body. It's got like a lot of contours in normal though. So like it's like really comfortable in this position um, like, I'm, like, I'm sitting on a floor right now, so, yeah, like, it's comfortable like this, you just gotta put your knee up, um, it's pretty comfy with a strap, too, like, this was, this setup was too long to set up, I'm not getting, I'm not getting more footage of that, maybe later, and if it is, then we'll cut this out, <laughs> but, yeah, 
Um, yeah, oh, I think I need to show the uh, neck joint. Oh, gotta get the volume off. So, so yeah, um, it's not like amazing. They could have made this a little more indented, I guess. But I mean, the fact that the neck contour goes up to the joint makes it so its ergonomics are pretty damn solid for like a pretty unergonomic, generally guitar platform. Can't really. Oh fuck. <laughs> can't really complain too much uh oh that clipped okay i might have to get cut out too um so oh it has a three-way blade switch so let me let me put on some clean sounds hold on one second i'm on the bridge pickup right now Okay, and then it has a push pull on the volume knob. It also only has one volume knob. It doesn't have a tone knob. So yeah, you pull this. And then yeah, it's uh, supposed to give it like a single coil type sound. I mean, I just think it's a little less fat. That's pushed in. Put, pulled up. Um, okay, so now both pickups. Now that was pushed in, now pulled up. Okay, that's actually noticeable difference in tone right there. Okay, now the neck. Okay. Compare that to the bridge. So it's definitely warmer. Yeah, you can do some like jazzy stuff with it. I like it. Although I don't really hear much of a difference in distortion. Like with like a lot, which is why I'm doing the, doing clean sounds right now. So yeah, and then there's... Oh yeah, now the neck will pulled up. I think my interface is lagging when I play too fast, lol. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, absolutely usable pickups. And I mean, basically all the real, like almost every guitar virtuoso was like switching to fish influences for a reason. I hope I can get my own signature set someday. That'd be sick. <laughs> um... So yeah, let's uh, so uh, let's, oh, I'm using a Archetype Rabia, by the way. Um, I'll probably do more like sound demos showing the actual presets themselves. This is more just reviewing the guitar itself. Um, so let's get this all dirty. <laughs> That's on the bridge pickup. Uh, with the volume knob pushed in, so you pull it up. Oh, I fucked up there. Yeah, I mean, it's a little smoother for soloing and stuff. So now the neck pickup pulled up. Yeah, you can tell, like, I just pushed it in right there. It's just, like, a little bit louder. So it, like, breaks. So it, like, pushes the amp, well, I guess, amp sim in this case more. So it's not, like, a vast difference in sound, but it, like, gives you something. Um, okay. So, uh, oh, 
So this is still on, this still has the original strings. Cause I've had this on about like a month now so far. I mean, I definitely really like it. Um, yeah, so, uh, the action seems fine. It looks like they didn't really radius the bridge too much, but now I'm looking at it now, I think it sort of is. They just seem to have, it's, the high E seems a little high, but, like, it doesn't buzz too much, and I can still, like, play fast with it. I just have to, like, seems to mess with some synchronization. I might, uh, I might do a sl slight change of the setup when I actually get mo get strings for this thing. All right, so got new strings from Stringjoy. So since you can't really see what I'm doing, what I'm doing is, you see these things? I'm just loosening them up because these are locking tuners and it unlocks them. Well, this sucks. What happened? Um, so the biggest string, like it, it's taper starts before like the full scale length of the guitar. Basically it's a problem. All right. Uh, got new strings on it. I set it up. I did that off camera. Cause it was kind of a pain in the ass. Cause uh, this right here, that's not supposed to be there. So I had to uh, take uh, super glue and sprinkle some baking soda on it to uh, raise up the nut slot. So this won't this will this won't buzz anymore. So all right. So uh, we're right now running my. Uh, I'm going through a heavy sound, show you what that's like. Also, I had to change the tuning back to a standard, so instead of this Z, this is a C sharp. some uh, reverb and stuff. I'm going to show you how the freeze feature works on this thing. sound. Thank you. 
synth now gonna, we're gonna do the bossy plug in a bit Thank you. 
Alright, well, uh, that's it for the Josh Show. See ya.